So, first question, Dale. Smoke and Ace 88 wants to know what was going through your head those final laps of the Daytona 500. Um, well, I don't, I, you know, I said in the interviews after the race that I didn't really uh, remember the last several laps. You know, you just, um, you're just going and doing. You don't have time to really think about what's happening and remember it and be able to recall on it, you know, moments later. So, there are a couple, uh, there are a couple parts that I remember. I remember driving down into turn one behind Clint Boyer, and that was a decision point where I had to decide whether. I could make a hole in between him and Martin as they were going side to side or whether to push Clint or whatever and they're just I just thought it would be a little counterproductive to drive into the door of Martin and move him up the track. I don't know if I could keep my run and try to go to the outside of Clint but it worked out the way the best to follow Clint because it sort of slowed me down in the center of the corner and the double zero pushed me off a two really really good to get me about two more spots down and back straight away that I probably wouldn't have got if I'd have went three wide through one and two but you're just making a lot of decisions, you know, and who's to say, you know, it was all circumstance and uh, good fortune.